Hello CS50. So we are actually at project 2 which is actually title commerce that is an eBay like auction website. So let's take a look. So here I have definitely I have more than three models because I have the active list, category list and have watch list. Let's say if we create listing, if we go to create listing, if I'm not logged in, it will uh, redirect me to a registration page. Brian at Brian. So let's just register so that we can create a listing. So now when I'm at the listing page, let's say I'm going to create one listing. Let's say just how this is review box set. So then I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to put the picture in. New category will be go starting date, let's say $10. Save. Now this is the new one. So let's say what if I were to create a listing without the category with the category let's say I'm going to create this with the category but without without the without the picture so it still works without the photo so let's say what if I actually create one that is with the picture but without the category so let's just create this thing with the picture and then make a commandment. And let's see, this one put two. So no category. Save. It works. So the last one, let's say I create something that is without both the the without the category and the image. So it still works. So now the second thing that we have is actually the active listing. So the active listing here will actually show what it, whatever that is active. So if I actually go in here and I close this listing, then the thing will actually not, not be shown anymore. Now in the listing page, if we log out, we can actually see that I can still go to any of this. So, so that's, that's all right. Then if I'm signing, let's say I'm going to use Brian. If I'm signing, I can bid on, on things. Let's say this one, this one there are, not, there are no bids, I can place the 30 bid. $30 bid, but let's say if I place the $30 bid again, if someone already placed the bid, it will say something is wrong. Then let's say if I were to just increase the bid a little bit, I will still be able to bid for this. So then, next thing is that if I'm signed in, I could add things on my watch list. So I can add things on my watch list if I want to. So let's say I can add things to my watch list, and I go for my watch list, these two things are here. And then, if I want to remove the, the thing, I can still remove it and then the, things, the thing is removed. And let's say, for example, I would like to log in as the owner of the listing. So that, let's say I'm here, I come to this, I close the listing. So now the listing is being closed. So just now, let's say I log out, I go into Brian again. I'm not sure if that one was 19 or not. Yes, so the thing is 19, I'm locked in as Brian. Now you see, here it says, congratulations, you have won this bit. So this is what, what we have here. And then let's say, I could go to my listing here, I could say, wow, great book. Then I can go back to, I can comment this, it can be added here. So if I were to use another user, let's say Chua, oopsie daisy. Then I can also see the same the same comment. Yes, and I can reply. And I could have this. Now if we go to categories, if we go to electronics, okay, no no electronics available. If I have closed the listing, so no listings are available, but books. So I have books available here. So this is actually the, the categories. So if you go for toys, we still have toys here. So this is the category. Now let's say Django admin interface. So if I were to go for admin, so I'll actually be able to go through the, the things here. Let's say if I were to delete Brian, I'll be able to delete Brian. So whatever bit that I had just now will all be deleted. So that that's all for, for my project. Thank you.